This year's nominees prove that beyond being informative, factual programming can also be awe-inspiring, inspirational and incredibly moving. Here are the nominees for Factual. Factual. My Life Ballet Boys. They seem to dance anywhere and everywhere they go, especially when they're together. Adam, in particular, is always performing. He really does think life is a stage. Boys. There he goes, I want that one, and does a pirouette and go, that one, for dinner. Deadly 60. Got my first humble squid underwater! Now you can see why they call them the Red Devil or the Red Demon. The water is just full of ink. And oh crikey, they just made a lunge for the camera lens there. Wow. Oh. My life stammer school. It's like the batteries have gone. Um, you know, a sort of so barriers come down the back of your throat. My 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 name is 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 Charlotte, and I am and I am I'm and I am and I am forty. Comic relief, girl on wire. Uh, thank you to James Brickle here, who's the series director, who has made some incredible films and helped me shape Deadly 60 and get it to where it is today. Thank you to Wendy Dark, our executive producer, who has just been an incredible support in everything that we've done and has really stood behind us and um, just, again, got us to where we are today with this, with this whole project. And to Steve, of course, who's... I believe he's filming, he's filming Deadly 60 at the moment. He's in Komodo, filming, filming Komodo Dragon. So, Steve, thank you. Incredible guy. Uh, I think when you watch Deadly 60, um, he, he's able to instill this incredible empathy and he, he pulls the audience in. He's, he's like, he has this childlike enthusiasm for everything, from a little ant to a tiger. Whatever, he, whatever he's involved in, you, you kind of watch him uh, and backed up by this incredible knowledge. So, thank you. Uh, on, on behalf of all of those guys uh, to BAFTA and um, we hope to carry on making fantastic programmes for you. Thank you. I'm here with the winners of the Children's BAFTA for Factual. It is Deadly 60. Now guys, nature filming is notoriously uh, expensive and difficult to do. How did you manage to get this project? which started how many years ago off the ground? Uh, it started in 2008. Yeah. Um, and basically, we decided that we needed to make something that was an honest, true program for kids that we could get out there and film wildlife in a way that probably hadn't really been done before. We wanted to make it really kind of an honest look at what goes on out there and, and get a presenter in there, Steve Backshaw, who is very capable of getting into that situation and making it happen. So a lot of it's to do with Steve, really. Yeah, it's, he's, it's he's real, so isn't it? It, it? That's how we make it. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, it's it absolutely like a real. very hands-on show. Does it get written as it's happening sometimes because you find a, a deadly creature that you didn't expect to find sure. and it's there? It happens and all the time. Do it. You know what? We go out thinking we're going to film these three animals. There's normally three animals per show. Yeah. But we only have five days to film it in the wild. So that's not a lot of time. And suddenly you're filming, you're in the middle of Costa Rica, you turn around in the middle of the night, you're in the jungle, and there's a tapir. You think, right, okay, that's a good animal. Let's have a little look at that animal. So you make the most of what you can get at that particular time. Right. But the crew and Steve, everybody has to be able to react to that very quickly. And that's kind of why it works, I think. Okay, now, is there anything too deadly for you? Is there anything that you haven't been well, there we, yet because you're a little bit scared? Yeah, we, um, we nearly killed Steve on the first show, didn't we? On the first the show? The very so first show. It was, nearly, it was nearly all over before it began. We, yeah, we, we got in a scrape with a hippo. Yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, you know, most a lot of telly you sort of hype up the uh, the angst and the jeopardy and all that. We were toning it down quite a lot when we edited that sequence. I think it's fair to say. In South Africa, on a river, filming a hippo, we could see in the distance. Thought that's the sequence done. Turn round to come back in. Another hippo popped up. Now these guys are not. You shouldn't mess with them. No. And this particular hippo went for the crew boat and then went for Steve. And he had to dart off around the corner. We had to get the crew out. So it was nearly all over on the first day, to be honest. Well, it first wasn't. Day. Here you <laughs> Could are. Could have been deadly one. What? <laughs> deadly 60. Yeah. All right. Keep going from strength to strength. Congratulations on the award. Thanks very much. We'll Thanks see so some much. more soon. All right. Thank cheers. You. Thank you very cheers. much. Thanks.